you almost have to think of yourself as having a cord that extends from your hip. And this cord can be plugged into one of two sockets. If you plug the cord into the socket of the material world, the physical world, at 20,000 cycles per second, you're going to get what the physical 20,000 cycles per second world has to offer. You're going to get problems, you're going to get fears, you're going to get worries, you're going to get illnesses, you're going to get accidents, you're going to get victimization. These are the things that happen when you plug into the material slow solid frequencies. If on the other hand you decide to take your plug and your cord and plug it into God, and it's really an internal metaphor that you can use at any time in your life, that I can unplug myself from here because when I'm plugged into here in 20,000 cycles per second, I am feeling anxious and I am worried and my stomach is upset and I feel sick and I can't eat and I want to uh, take pills and I want to go to the doctor and I want somebody else to cure it for me. Those are the reactions to plugging in here. But when you plug into God in your mind, when you just take this plug and you plug it in over here, you say, all right, God, I'm plugging into you and I'm turning it over to you because I don't know how to handle this, but I know you do because you keep the planets in alignment and you make the flowers bloom and you turn a seed into a flower and an embryo into a baby and I can trust an intelligence that can make miracles like that happen and I know you have the answer it's not like I have to say oh dear God oh my God you know I know that you can create the world and I know you can do all of those things but if you only knew my problems you couldn't possibly solve them and God is up there saying you know you're absolutely right you know it's not too bad to make a universe and to turn an embryo into a baby but with the parents you had my hands are tied I'm sorry there's just uh, there's just not much that I can do I'm really sorry you, know. you have to really be willing to surrender and turn it over and ask and ask and then create an intention. And then I think it's most important of all, after you turn it over, to remember that it's never between you and them when you have a conflict in your life. And I had read something from Mother Teresa called the final analysis. And let this ring in your hearts if you're looking for what to do to reach the highest levels of consciousness. Let this fill your hearts tonight. From Mother Teresa. People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone may destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you have anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it's all between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. And it was never between you and anyone you're in conflict with. Whoever they are, no matter how severe the conflict, it's always between you and God anyway. You can applaud because that's for Mother Teresa.